Hey guys, just give me one second. Uh, right up. Press the button. Hey guys, and welcome back to Grade Four. Uh, continue. Everything seems like everything's fine. By the way, I might go back to streaming five days a week, or well, six days a week, maybe. Saturday's always kind of weird, but I might go back to my schedule. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do something. Do, 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 do. I was even wondering why I was so quiet. Sorry about that, guys. It happens once in a while. There we go. By the way, I respected my character. Nothing too crazy. See, I got all these still. I did the attribute a bit different. I cut out all the agility and went to strength and... Uh, yeah, strength and uh, endurance. So I maxed that out all the way. And then talents, I went for all the way intuition, but blacksmith only went two, and other stuff I'm working on. Yeah, because I can get science free for my ability and for my clothing, but you can't get uh, crafting from your clothing. Uh, yeah, the only thing you can get your clothing is, uh, Vigor, Lockpicking, and Science. That's the only three things you can get from your clothing. And as I got somebody for Vigor, well, when I do get her unlocked, the native, that means I can have three, um, Vigor for my clothing and from her. Crafterman, I have the same thing. I have one for my clothing and another one for my um, Kirk and science again with Abo, uh, Abo, whatever, and then one for my clothing. So that's all done. That's pretty much all done here. So the only thing I'm left to do is probably my lock picking. And I did do upgrade my armor. See, but I got big on this. Wait, can I get... Yeah, I got big on this. So yeah, when I unlock her, uh, I get free big old. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. So now I can build this one. And I'm right here. So you guys don't see the fast travel. Or travel time I went to here. Doing this quest, speak yeah, to the chief. So wait, let's get into it. Do not take a step further. We come in peace. My name is Desar Day. I am from the congregation of merchants. We would like to speak to your chief. Foreigners like you bring nothing but pain and debt. The last who came here took away our prisoners. I must admit to you that I am responsible. We had no choice but to free the sages. But I did all in my power to avoid bloodshed. I spared your warriors' lives when they were at our mercy. They spoke of you. They say you keep the words you speak. Will you keep your peace? I swear it. Then you may enter. But we have an eye on you. Darren, our chief, will not be happy to see you. You will need to convince her you are worthy of trust. Okay, there we go. I have done this by accident. So I know what they said there, but there's a little thing on that I've discovered. 
So you could go straight in there, but if you do this, I accidentally discovered this when I was just running around goofing off. You can actually spy on them. What were they saying, Siora? The chief regrets the loss of the prisoners of the bridge. She said that the Mistress of Wisdom at Vikshadir should be informed. Vikshadir? It is the village of the Great Hunt. It can be found to the northeast. There should be a path that leads us there close by. Okay. That worked out better. I don't know what... Am I supposed to do that? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that, but I did it. That's why I love having her with me. If they ever talk their own language, I can have a translator. Plus, she's a good healer. Heals my uh, armor and my health. So that's also a plus. Oh, great. Well, we'll see what this weapon can do. I haven't tested it out yet. Oh! Bam. Two shots and the guy's dead. Ooh. Not bad. Pretty much two shots these guys. So I have now, I can craft like the best armors, or upgrade my armor to the best. See that's what I did with the left arm. As you can see it's all armored. So all I did really is just optimize my uh, build a bit. My build is kind of like all over the place before, but then I just, you know, find it a bit. Hey, what's Kirk's stats? Okay, she has... Wow, it's four. Willpower, agility. Three agility? Hmm. He gets agility in level 33. Okay. Good day. My name is Desarde. Would you be the Voglendig of the Mistress of Wisdom? Dear Tirtumod, Renaxi. Yes, I am among us. What are you doing here in this sacred village? Do you know where I might find the Mistress of Wisdom? The Tirna Hachkadaktas? I regret she is not here. Do you know where she might be found? I am sorry, but I will not tell a Renaxi stranger to us. Your kind has many who bend the truth to their desires. Some of them tried to capture her. You need to prove to us that we can trust you. Tell me what I can do. You could help me find the secret seal that I lost. This would prove a little. It is a secret stone that my mistress asked me to study and meditate with. I had it with me when I was going to the river, but I was suddenly attacked. Of course, the animals left me alone in the end, but I dropped the seal in my flight. I would gladly go and look for it, but I am alone in the village, waiting for the Tierna Hakkadaktas. And what with the preparations and the great hunt, I cannot leave at this time. I see. 
I'm going to look near the river and see if I can find it. Thank you, Renaxi. I must leave. Oh, great. Let's see, story... Quest, find the symbol. Why jump? Where's the river? Find the symbol, okay. It looks like we've got a bunch of quests here that we can do. Let's just go find these uh, thing and help them out. He'd be more willing to talk to us if he helped them out. Uh, we'll see the symbol should be around here. It's a long way to travel for one person. Look at that damage. Dude, I love the damage. Okay, that was the best idea. Just get five strength. There you go, picked it up. I can't skin that guy. Sure. Let's give it back to this guy. Hopefully he'll start talking, maybe. I'll probably have to do a bunch of quests, uh, quests here. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, fun. Ongos? What do you want, Renaxi? I found your seal. It was indeed near the river. My heart thanks you. You are a Renaxi like no other. The Tirna Hachadaktas would have been angry if I had lost it. The Tirna Hachadaktas went into the sacred bosque. She goes often there to meditate. And where could I find this bosque? To the west of the village, into the heart of the woods. There is a passage between the rocks that gives access. Be wary. This is an untamed place. Where the animals are wild and numerous. I must leave. Uh, these guys still have quests. Oh, God. Okay, what do you guys want? Bortir to Madrenaixi. Uh, good day. I seek the mistress of wisdom, the Tierna Hak Kadaktus. I have no idea what you want with her. But no one in the village will tell her Renaixe where to find her. I do not seek to harm her, only to speak with her. I don't know where she is. Her Voglandai might know, but I think he will tell you nothing. You are in one of the most sacred villages of our lands. The Renaixe are not welcome here, and we are busy making ready for the great hunt. Maybe I could help you with something. Help us? Hmm. Why not, after all? It would speak well of your intentions. During the Great Hunt, we place bells on the path to keep the animals away. During the last hunt, there was a great storm, and the bells were badly damaged. Would you like me to repair them? That would be good. If not, we need to make new ones, and I am afraid we will not have the time. I can help repair the bells for the Great Hunt. Okay. Yeah, it's over there. And yeah, why not help these guys out? Ash is buggy, hey? You have to even be 30 minutes until you bug me, hey? 
Really? <sighs> Sorry about these guys. Give me a second. What? Buddy, what? What do you want? Hmm? Come on. You want trees, that's it? Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Ah. That's really uncomfortable. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Ugh. My cat just won his uh, treats. He gets a treat before he walks around, leaves the house. He's not an indoor cat. Well,. At night times they're indoor because of the law. Here in Australia, you have a law that if pests are out and about at night time, they can confiscate them and you have to pay a fine. But during the day is fine. During the day they can just roam around. If they have collars. If they don't have collars you can't make them roam around. Okay, where are these bells? Great, we have to go on this path. No, there's one of the bells. Let's take a look at this chime. Hmm. The base is damaged. The wooden tubes can no longer hit each other. We will need to craft a new base. Child's play. I'll help you if you want. Yep. These chimes are once again in working order. And we have to just do them, uh... He said bells, not charms. Ah well. Hey look, we're going on the great hunt ourselves. Yeah man. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Looking where it's been hung, it isn't surprising that these chimes are making no sound. They're far too low and can't catch the wind. Now, with the chimes in the proper place, they should sound like they are supposed to sound. Okay. So I need two more. And we should be done with this quest. The base of this bell is damaged. That's why it no longer makes a sound. I need to build a new one. 
These chimes are once again in working order. Oh, take my blade. Man, I love this blade. Just shreds enemies. Uh, let's see. There it is. These chimes here are simply tangled, but I need to untangle them without breaking them. There. Everything is in order. It will chime whenever the wind blows upon the branches. Nice. And we're done. Oh yeah, that didn't break your knees. Uh, let's go back. There's another one as well. There's one more quest to do in the village, if I remember correctly. I could have just teleported there in the village. I realize that now. Come on, prepare the yep. Nash, there's the last guy. Need to check this in. Well, now, Renaixe. Were you able to repair our bells for the hunt? Yes. They are all working now. You are very surprising. But I should have known that as an Onolmanawi, you would be different than the others. I now believe your words to be true when you say you desire no harm to Artirna. You need to find her Voglandai. I will tell him that your intentions are heartfelt. What? Stop being creepy or you will fall. Why are you on about level? Good day. I'm looking. What are you doing here? You are in a hidden village, a sacred village. The Renaiks have no place here. I seek audience with the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tiana Hakadactus. Do you know where I can find her? That Tiarna is in her home. She goes, she comes as her heart desires. Only her Voglendaig must know. And if I knew where she was, it's not me who is going to tell her. Renaix. Go away, leave me alone now. I have much to do. The great hunt is coming. <laughs> I gotta say, I was like, what are you on about? Uh, let's see, ask about the great you hunt. spoke about a great hunt. What is it? A sacred ceremony, of course. How in your countries do you honor your lands and assure their abundance? <sighs> well, it's a bit... Your renikes are very strange. It is no wonder that you come to our lands. If you do not honor the land with the great hunt, you must lack game to hunt. Each year, one of our own. Our best hunter dresses up as the Andrig. He becomes the white Andrig during an entire night and the others hunt him. If he escapes them, the game will be abundant and the gathering fruitful during the entire year. It is a very important celebration. 
Uh, let's see. Keep it now. Save it in case it goes sideways. You are hearing. Please now. I wish her no harm. I just need to speak with her. You speak well and say pretty things, but it is by your doings that you will be judged. Then, in that case, tell me what I can do. Hmm. There is much to be done in this season. And Pedir, the great gatherer, has not returned from the woods. Very well. Would you like me to go and get him? That would be good. Okay, missing... finding a missing person. Find Pedro and the Greek guy, yeah, yep. By the way, level, how's uh, Dragon Quest 3 going? I'm trying to think of the games like, yeah, it's Dragon Quest. Hello. Are you Padilla? People in the village are worried about you. Esquito, I've a night say that I, I know no more if I am what you say. In truth, I fear being dust, waiting to settle on the earth. What has happened to you? Why such despair? My eyes have clouded. I see no more, nothing at all. I was once the great gatherer. But by the devils, why have they sent a blind man to gather herbs? No one knows. I said nothing to them. I know my village so well that I do not need to see to wander to it. But I can no longer gather the herbs of the sacred dye. I know they are here in these woods, but I cannot find them. Uh, let's see, pose to get them. Very well. Can you tell me which plants you need? If you are certain that they are somewhere in this patch of woods, it won't be difficult. But how am I to guide you? The names we give to these plants are not the same as the names you give them. Describe them to me. I think I'll find them. One is a blue flower, the other a green mushroom, and the last ingredient is a blackberry. Very well. Don't go anywhere. I will take care of it. Okay. Already have everything. Uh, pretty well, probably would have been done, but I had something coming up once, come up one stream. I fell asleep for uh, another stream. <laughs> Get fine last night. I am back, Padilla. Yes. I found the herbs that you were looking for. Here. Thank you. You are good for a renaik say. I did not know your kind bore souls such as you. I may return to the village now. I will tell them that you're on your way. Thank you again. Uh, but I ask you, do not tell them what you have learned about me. I do not wish that they treat me like a broken cripple. Goodbye, Padilla. To be honest, I can't tell you how many times I slept through my stream. It's like, hey, it's like... Oh yeah, about six hours, maybe five hours until my stream. I just take a quick, uh, a little nap. Ten hours later, it's like, whoop, there goes my stream. <laughs> like, even if you plan for it, even if you know your sleep schedule, sometimes it just goes out of the window. You are here again. 
Uh, give the news on uh, on Pedro or ask about it. I found Padilla. He should be along shortly. Whatever made him take so long? He is not a man to be bothered by the beasts. Uh, Pedro Seco, lions. Yeah, I took a nap and woke up like a couple of hours later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like I'm gonna take a little nap. It's like whoop, it's night time or it's like in the morning. You just go straight over your time schedule. <laughs> that poor Pedia fell asleep under a tree. Age, I suppose. It seems like it would be the right time for him to take on an apprentice. Someone to help him on his walks. Well done, Greenblood. As age gains ground, pride is often all that a man is allowed to keep. I thank you, Renaixe. Your acts are as beautiful as your words. You are welcome here. And I hope you find the Tierna Hach Kadachtas. It was actually funny once. I went to sleep. After going out and meeting some friends, I went to sleep. And then wake up, and it was the exact same time. It was like 7 o'clock at night time. And wake up at 7 o'clock at night time. So I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't go to sleep, I guess. Nah, apparently I went to sleep for 24 hours. Because <laughs> I walked down and my mum's like, hey, you okay? I'm like, why? He's like, because you were asleep the whole time. Hearing noise over them both. Yeah, I'm like, what? I was asleep for 24 hours? I didn't know how I didn't get hungry or thirsty, but yeah. I had a nice overall niece overall and then both nieces for three hours and just was the title I guess yeah people do that people always drain your um energy like the more people you have around you and the more people are gonna suck at energy away from you that's just human beings Wait, what? Find... Find the head of the game. Like I just said about my story. That's why I slept for 24 hours, because I was near people. Usually I'm never near people. That's one of the reasons why. <laughs> like little vampires sucking your energy. Don't mind, it's fun having people and friends and everything. But yeah, they definitely suck the energy out of you. You are not welcome here in that city. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Desarde. I'm a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Mev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Cardwin. What is a legate? And what could she want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I am not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malachor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be... Forgive this affront. Her face resembles ours, but she does not know our customs. But her intentions are pure. She truly seeks a remedy for her people. And what is a Donegad of our people doing with these invaders? What do you seek in their company? Understanding, Tierna. And to learn for the good of our people. You truly think there is anything the Renaixe could teach of any value? They come here to rape our lands, as did those who came before them long ago. This miraculous cure that we heard talk of, could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me. 
but I will not be used like some puppet. What? We just want to talk. Ow. Come here. There we go. Whoa. We good? No, we're not good. <laughs> That's a slow projectile. A fun fact, he, where I live, it starts getting bright around, well, it's around 5 o'clock a.m. Yeah, it starts getting bright around 5 o'clock a.m. And it gets dark around about 7. So it's a 5 to 7, it's pretty much all daylight. That's a humongous daylight cycle. Especially in summer, you don't know the, what time it is because you're like, hey, it's still daylight outside. It's like NAS 6.30 at night time. And it's still bright as like it's 12 o'clock at midday. Very trippy sometimes. Especially if you have a nap in the middle of the day. Then you wake up, it's like, oh, 6 o'clock and it's still bright out. It still gets me, even if I live here for my whole life. It still trips me out a little bit. I guess you would really never get used to it. Because at winter time, it's really night time. It goes like, I think about 5 o'clock or something at night. It goes like dark. So the n day and night cycle is just weird where I live. Honestly, it depends on the weather. Something had been placed here. Find a way to enter the holy place. Okay. Am I supposed to find the holy? Okay. By the way, level, you're gonna play every Dragon Quest game. Are you gonna play all of them? These roots are so interwoven and taut that it's impossible to get through them. She passed through here, there's no doubt of it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? This is obviously island magic. Some sort of ritual. The roots must open if one places the proper offering on the altar stone. I wonder if Ongos, the Boblin Knight, will know how this Roger. works. How many main games are there? Isn't there like eight, nine? I figure there's ten, isn't it? Yeah, isn't there like ten main games? Were you able to meet the Tierna Hak Kabaktas? Yes, but to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I am once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. 
Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? 11, but 10 is you. But 10 is if is you don't want to count the ammo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, there's an MMO? Honestly, like I said before, I have no clue about Dragon Quest. I promise that I mean her no harm. I just need to expose as best I can the problem at hand. Her help is truly necessary. Thousands of lives are at stake. Tell me more. My people have fallen prey to a serious illness, which has almost certainly taken my own mother by now. If we do not quickly find a remedy, we shall all follow her to the grave. But the Tiana Hakadactus can help us. We are sure of that. She will know of a remedy able to heal this sickness that plagues us. Oh, that's why. It seems noble and with great respect for the life of all. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given. But there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hakkadaktas makes her home. And why should I fear the ancestor? I have stories of the Nadaig being shared with you. In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes, I even encountered one. She was magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. Oh, uh, by the way, are you done with Final Fantasy? I knew you were playing Final Fantasy there for a little bit. It looks like you kind of stopped it. This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us, so that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. <laughs> you didn't want to play any more Fun Fancy. Didn't you get up to like four and then you quit? She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. <sighs> to be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing. Though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. Uh, the Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. Unfortunately, it has lost its seeds. I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. Is there any reason why you done with Final Fantasy or you just got bored of it? I started in August 19 with Tactics, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, took a break. And played I seven when I came out. Okay. 
So you played all the main games, and then I played one five six on TV. Okay, so you you played all of them, okay. Well, you haven't played all the Final Fantasy games, but you played all the main ones. Ever good planning on uh, playing the what's it called the spin-off games or no? You're not really interested in the spin-off games. All these flowers. Perhaps this is where the Tiana Hakadactus finds the seeds that we're looking for. Perhaps, but this flower is usually rare. I've never seen such a great number of them in the same place. These flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tiana Hack, and they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds we need to open the root passage. We should go try them. We have what we need. Let's go back to the Stone Steely. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> So that I just I only saw you play uh one to uh one to four. Wow. So what's your final uh what's your favorite fun fancy game? that any other Final Fantasy until 16. Mm -hmm. uh, Ring of Fate was actually pretty good on the DS. I actually didn't mind that. Final Fantasy Tactics. Mm. Never actually played that. I heard a lot of good things about tactics, but never played it. I probably should give it a go. Probably should play tactics one of these days. So your new goal is just play every main... Dragon Quest game. You have any? What's the next series you're gonna do? Or you haven't planned that far ahead? Because one of the series I wanna do. Is the E series or E, well, whatever the DS series, DS series is like Y series or something, or yeah, yes series, some kind of weird name like that. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Diana Hakadactus is quite the head start. Also, Ocean Star is a good series as well, people say. There's a lot of series I want to play, but... Eventually I get around to them. Nice, level 30. Can I level up? In a second. Oh, let's 
So you get waffles, nice. Let's see, that's level 31, that's level 33. Probably do agility next. Jeez, that's just melty guys. Wonder how long this game is. Oh, how much? There's a chasm here. The Tierna Harkadachta is agile. She must have jumped over it. I'm sure we can jump over it too. Okay, hopefully. Yep. Nice. Wait, we're killing her? Wait, we killed her? Oh, we killed one person. This place is humongous. I actually want to look around a bit. Your side passages, Jesus. Is there actually anything in here? You know what, let's fall this ladle. Let's just get out of here. Hey, lucky I had that uh, vigor on my chest armor. These guys again? Maybe I should put this game on hard. Maybe. Because right now it's a bit too easy. Maybe. Wait, what? What are we doing here? Wait, I'm confused. Huh. Okay, I guess we went the whole big circle. We're on the right track. There are some fresh prints here. I hope that she did not hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be another egg here. We should be careful. Oh great, there's a guardian. That means a boss battle. I just should save it. I definitely want to explore that um, cave system later. Might be some legendary arm or something. I still have to get here somehow. Somehow.
Oh no. Get back up. Come on, the armor. There we go. There's the armor gone. Oh, a thousand damage. Keep damaging him. Get out of that tree. Okay, yeah, this is a bit too easy. to capture and extract from her what we need to examine her dissect her if necessary you have done us a great service guiding us directly to her are you saying that even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion it is not the song we came for but the bird she leads the sorcerers of this island she knows how they transform and from where their powers originate our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. Really? Wow, you're weak. Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? Yeah. After revealing your conspiracy to me, you deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. <laughs> Really? Mercy? I don't think so. Dear Nahak? She is unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. Uh, wait. Before leaving or leave now? We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. No mercy. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. Dear Nehach, she does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. 
He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. And to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try? We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound. As they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixi enrage it. After all... Perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frictimen. The God of a Thousand Faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. That's right. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago. A lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, are they not the reason the first guardians of the native legends appeared? Whatever, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malakor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy as of yet, he will be happy to know that we have made progress. Okay. Okay, farm, okay, yep. Wait, what's the camp name for up there? Okay. Camp. There it is. Can you get your blade out? There you go. Let's see if I can harvest anything from this body. Yep, I can. Five coins. Really? Well, there's a dead body. You think I get more than five coins from defeating a boss, but hey, guess not. Well, time to leave this place. Nobody needs my help. Nobody needs my help. So, I have no idea what quest is up next. Maybe find Constantine, uh, fate? Maybe. Wonder if it's gonna give me another side quest.
My fair cousin! Come closer and tell me what brings you... Uh... Constantine... How are you feeling? Are you in great pain? This sickness is horrible, believe me. Now I understand what your mother went through. But you have not come to hear my complaints. Speak, it will give me something else to ponder. Allow me to present Afra, an emissary of the Bridge Alliance. She is an imminent naturalist who studies local flora in an effort to find a remedy. Your Excellency, it is a great honor. You were part of Governor Buren's lost expedition, if I've understood correctly, were you not? Yes, and our research would have borne fruit if it hadn't been so brutally interrupted. I can only imagine. Nevertheless, you are most welcome. Your great learning will certainly prove useful. I implore you, my fair cousin. Do continue. We are eager to hear your news. Uh, ask about, speak about the remedy. I wanted to inform you of our progress in the attempt to discover a cure. As you advised me, I followed the leads shared by our allies, none of which led anywhere. However, they pointed in the same direction, towards a sort of god that the natives worship. They call him Enon Mil Frigdemon, the god of many faces. He is very powerful and protects the island. How can you be sure that it's not some sort of myth, even a superstition? I saw it take shape with my own eyes, during a ritual. It is possible that the Malachor is the expression of its vengeance. You are referring to the secret we unearthed. The entire continent is paying today for the errors of our grandparents. It is a terrifying perspective. But if it were true, he must also be able to help us heal. Princess, could you shed some light on this being? Is it possible to meet him? All the Donegada know him. He is the strength, the spirit of Tirfredi. You were looking for a demon or a remedy from plants, so I did not think of him. But yes, he is very powerful and as old as our world. He could surely heal your sickness. But it is not simple to meet him. Impossible, I would think. Though it is not my place to judge, you need to earn the trust of Glendan, the elder of the council. Ask him for his help. I beg you, cousin. Go and find Glendan. Do all that he requires. Offer him all that he desires. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. My life is in your hands. And those of so many others. I will do all in my power. I have already promised you, have I not? Where can I find this Glendan? He lives in the village of Dorhad Genedu. It is in the heart of our island, at the entrance to our most sacred lands. Thank you for your help, Princess. I will not forget the numerous services you have provided for us. And thank you, fair cousin. For everything. Okay. Let's try to find a way to, you know, heal his pain. So I don't think I have main quest left. I don't think I have any side quest really left. Uh, let's see, let's travel. I really want to know what my other side quest is for the princess. She has nothing for me. I'm pretty sure I'm still friendly with her. Yeah, nice. Not friendly. Hmm. Well, I have no clue. I guess it's something for later. you are to defoil our ritual. One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tian. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A 
mind shaker. Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is on Orma Naui. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladned? Are you not a Denegad as well? It is true, but my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malakor. I do not know this sickness, but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black. See you, level. Have a good day. Suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern... With all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenland started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do, but I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well, I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He should be able to tell us more about these attacks. Okay, proceed. Talk to the hunter again. Okay, talk to the missionaries. Where's the hunter? There it is. Good day. Are you the master hunter? Beor dear to madre, I'd say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Donegad Katasach spoke to me about the animal attacks. Could you tell me more? The Tenlands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded. And some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them. But it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures. Very calm. But who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. 
Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donagan, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often. And they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nests that I found. But still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. Distress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who they are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. I must be going. We are not done with them. I'm in need of I hear you. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaic say, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy the nest come dawn. I must be going. Katazak advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. Hmm, finally destroy the nest, talk to the missionaries, talk to the family missing. Good day. My name is Desar Day from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes. My little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Donegad asked me to help you. Any information you can give me would be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the master hunter, but it was nothing serious. 
Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them. But they surely wouldn't have taken him. That could be a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. I must be leaving. Talk to the Mizzy J, find out. Find and destroy the nest. Watch it. Okay, so we need to talk to them back here. Okay, where? Yep, just keep talking to people. Good day. I have been sent here by your Donegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want her harmed? No, no, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think likely happened to her? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the mind shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But do you think that they might have captured her outside of the village? That merits inspection. I must leave now. Hmm. Best get the minutes. Missing villagers. So there's where the missing villages are. Well, it was all signs points to me going over there. So I guess I better go over there. There you go, that's a bit better. Sorry about that. So what's that camp called? Camp near the water. Okay.
That one, there you go, one dead. Oh wait, I forgot to put a rifle on her. My character. I probably can't anyway because I have no agility. A basket full of berries and a trap full of fish. All of it scattered and half eaten by beasts. Our two lost souls were here together. They must have been attacked, or they wouldn't have left their takings. Let's search the area. Maybe we can find their trail. Hmm. Did they go into the lair? That cavern seems to be home to some creatures. Let's be wary. It could very well be the lair of that great Tenman the hunter spoke of. Hmm. Let's see if you can find these missing villages. Come on. There we go. Uh, point of the large was turned inside the cage. It's tough. Okay. The other beast obeying is all the fans of the cage. Try becoming a victim. She's so tried not to be. I cannot believe that these missionaries used such a ruse to achieve their goals. Two youths died because of them. Now you understand why some of us fought against Irinaixi. Their words are always sweet, but all they bring is death. Now let's destroy this one while we heal. to the village. Their families need to be informed. Yep, uh, they're definitely dead, unfortunately. At least we found them. That's one good news. Let's see, travel. Hey, what am I doing here? Now, yeah, well, I'm close enough anyway. Well, let's bring him with the bad news. Really? That's... Uh.
we done? Just trying to get back to the village. The aggro range is humongous. Ah, <sighs> Wes and Vaughn, the family, that they're both dead. Well, on all Manawi, have you found my brother? I found him, but I'm truly sorry. Your brother is dead. May the earth welcome him. I felt it. How did it come to pass? He knew every stone on our lands. It couldn't have been an accident. He had a liaison with a young girl from the village. They would meet in a clearing. They must have forgotten the hour. Night took them by surprise, and a tenman crossed their path. I found both of them in the cavern of the beast. How terrible. Why did he go to see the girl in secrecy? They could have... I must recover his body. To give it up to the earth, as is our custom. Where is it? With the body of the girl he loved. In a cavern, near the clearing. But it is a dangerous place. Other Tenlands might still be roaming there. Though I did kill quite a few. I have a duty owed to my little brother. Thank you, Onol Manawi. I will not forget this. I must be leaving. Well, let's talk to other victim. Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Yes. I'm truly very sorry. Oh no. Nah. Sir Tonsidag, please do not tell me that she is dead. I found her body in the lair of a great Tenman, not far from the clearing. But how could she have been surprised by the beasts? She knew the danger. She went out to meet the young fisherman. The time must have flown by into the night. I am so sorry. We found them both dead. I must bring her body back to carry out the rite. You should not go alone. I killed as many as I could, but it would be better to be prudent. I shall follow your counsel, Onol Manawi. Two deaths are enough. Thank you. Thank you. I must leave now. I guess it's time to talk to the missionary people. What are the bandits doing here? Wait, what are you guys are doing here? Have I uh, killed that creature? Wait, did I find it by accident? I'll destroy it later. Maybe in life 
Never mind, I guess I'll attack it now. So that's one of the there's one of the nests. Okay, we finally went to the missionaries. of the congregation of merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Ask about the mission here. Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden where they might discover peace in this protected paradise they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people okay have you heard about the ten nin attacks on the village i didn't know those creatures were given that name but yes we have heard talk about the attacks we offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour in exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks. On occasion, yes. But thanks to the illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. I fought against a great number of Tenlands. One that was quite spectacular. A great white beast. Its mere presence seemed to aggravate the others, attract them and make them aggressive. A beast sent by the demons, no doubt. But... Stop taking me for a fool. We also found a journal outlining your vicious plan. I have only one piece of advice to give you. Leave, and quickly. Or the Mother Cardinal will learn every detail of your manipulations. We shall be leaving as soon as possible. But let it be known that you are abandoning all of these poor souls to damnation. Perhaps you should be more concerned about your own soul, sister. People have died by your fault. Well, I didn't want to do that. That's one thing I didn't want to do. I wanted to talk to him first. Good day. Could you tell me what your mission here? We, we have in. Have you heard of I the we next of course. to chase you on occasion? Yes. You seem to assert that the attacks of these tenons is somehow linked to the demons on the isle, whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Donegad wishes your departure. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. I fought against a great number of Tenlands. 
one that was quite spectacular. It's mere presence. A beast sent by... Stop taking me for a... I have only one piece of advice to give you. Leave, and quickly. We shall be... Perhaps you should be more con... There we go. There goes the mission, eh, people? Oh. Well, that's sorted out. What's, this, what's in here? Journal the mission. Uh, okay, our mission is talking to Long and the Inspector. Uh, Post Savage. These poor savages clearly to the children be friends and refuse to see the light. We say the soul shows them for key one by one. Okay, wait on the moors or turn key. Suppose on them. Okay, force them while we. We have. Uh, he was forced himself on one of these children. It was in the walls of the police, I, sp I spot one of them as he was forced himself on one of these children. He seemed full of nonsense. He told me that he would do it again. I confess that he is not the only one he was done. It was not the first time he just been happened. The fool's now must have in my path is just to remain secret in order to overcome the lives of them. I don't really like those guys whatsoever. Okay, well, time to rest up, go to the dawn and kill these nests. Yeah, yeah, I don't like those guys one bit. Religious organization. My friend, do you need something? I must leave. I will see. Move you and add you. Right? Travel, no sleep. Dust, dawn. It said dawn, right? They come out of dawn or dust. So dust or dawn. Damage, find and destroy the key. I think this said dawn or dust. Actually, no, I think it's dust. This should be it, right? God damn it. Oh, I can just rest the dawn heal. Well, that makes it a lot easier. It is dawn. The idea. I must kill the dawn before destroying the dawn. There's one out of three. There's one up there. Not sure where the last one is.
He said it was near the village, right? These have got some combat in this mission. The hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area. Ah, that's why he told you to find it. Well, there's a lot here. Hit him in the back, there we go. You guys done with him? The ideal moment. I must kill the dominant before destroying the nest. Okay, where's the dominant then? There it is. Blow this up. Oop. Need one more. No clue where the last one is. Well, I'll save it here anyway. Finally destroy the nest. Okay, cries. Where would the last nest be? Probably around here. Probably. I guess I just walk around until the character says something. Hmm. Maybe I should go the other way. Cause I've already been this way, so let's go the other way. Oh well, where is the nest? anywhere here no but there's a bunch of enemies hey look I'm about to get a level up I have no idea where the last one is. There's just one more nest. Okay, any more beasts around here? I 
Okay, so I don't think the nests are anywhere around that area. It mostly likes water areas. There's a bunch of bandits there. Let's get rid of these money bags. Hey, I know a money bag. <laughs> hey, you blocked it. Don't block it. Come on, give me some good loot. Nope, no good loot. Oh, there you go. Why is all the legendary weapons kind of suck in this game? You think they'd be legendary, you know, ultra rare, but the garbage half of the time. Nice level thirty-one. See, yeah, jilty. Why not get that up? Uh, we'll see. Guess put get that. I need two points. Anything around here that I miss? There you go. There's a chest. Looks like a nest could be around here. Killing creatures over and over again. Is anything over here? I thought I saw a guy, yeah, Martian. Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities, and the journey is safe. So, where would you like to go? I will see new uh, I'm all good. Thank you. Okay, I have no clue where the last nest is. There's a bunch of guys here, so the nest probably be around here. Guess I'll just talk to them. And see if they can find the nest for me.
May the trees protect you on all Manawi. My sister may now return to the earth. May the trees protect you on all Manawi. My sister may now return to the earth. Find and destroy the nest. Requires the uh, alchemy to prepare all the damage, elemental damage. Okay, so where's the last? I have no idea where the last will be. There's one there, there's one there, nothing really to heal. It must be around here somewhere. Unfortunately, that's... I have to wait until next time. Just look at the time and it's... Oh, done. Okay, we'll see. Man, time just flew. Uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.